Good morning, my brother. Welcome back to Titus chapter 2 as we get a daily grip on God's Word. I'm going to slide right in. I've got a few verses that rose up. They were 11 through 14. My title is Be Eager to Do Good. All right, here we go. Here's my G for gripping the Word. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age, while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are very his very own, eager to do what is good. My R, my reveal. Okay, I see a theme from yesterday to today. I can't just check the box and say, okay, I read a few minutes in the Bible. I'm good. Really? If I truly personalize that Jesus came to this earth to offer salvation to you and to me, he took every one of my sins. Guys, he nailed all of our sins to the cross past, present, and future. He took my eternal debt and paid it in full and showed his unconditional love by cleansing and purifying me from the darkness of sin. My implementation, God sent his son, Jesus, the, on an ultimate mission here on earth, not to condemn the world, but to seek and save the lost. I too have been commissioned to join him on this great commission. And if it's not if I feel like it, I should be waking up each and every day with an eagerness to do good for me to leave the 99 and go on the hunt to find the one man, the lost man and point him to Jesus. Guys, it's really been an humbling journey to watch God just direct steps to the one. And I don't hit the mark every day, but my goal every day is to be available to connect to that one guy. And I just need to be consistent in that. My prayer, Lord, I'm reminded of the ultimate sacrifice you made by taking on the sins of the world and nailing them to the cross. When I look at the cross and personalize what you did for me, I make myself available for you to use in order to reach that next one man. Jesus, be glorified, be honored in all that I say, in all that I do. It's in your name I pray, Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Guys, if any of that um, kind of resonates with you, just I'd love to hear from you. Send an email. Uh, personalize the story for yourself of what Jesus did for you. And those stories, as we continue to share our testimonies, those stories, and include his story in it, guys are getting deeply, deeply ministered to at the heart level. We've got to keep sharing our stories, guys. Let me pray this out. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you that, whew, um, really to be able to pause and Heavenly Father, to look what you did. You sent your only Son in Jesus to this earth, not to condemn it, but to seek and save the lost. Lord, thank you for finding me in 1997 through a little book called In His Grip. Lord, that led me into your word, led me into Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, led me into the local church, and led me to you, Jesus, to become my personal Savior. Lord, I'm sorry for taking that lightly at times. But Lord, use me to find that next guy that's struggling like I was in my marriage, in my finances, losing a dream job, no purpose, no meaning. Lord, help us to connect to those guys to bring them in a purpose, Christ-centered community that you're building in and through in this group. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Tomorrow, guys, I'm coming back for my final day, chapter three in Titus. Can't wait to finish strong with you in the morning.